Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this nice worst problem question which is related to quadratic equation. The question reads find the dimensions of a rectangular park split into two pens sharing a fence of the same size producing the greatest enclosed area given 540 feet of fencing. All right first of all let us sketch the rectangular pens. Suppose this is the rectangular pens. We want to split it into two, so let's do that. Such that the area here will be exactly as the area here. But we are given from the question that 540 feet is the total length of what? This fencing block all round, including this leg, this, this, and these two other legs. So let us find the perimeter first. You know the dimension, this will be the length this will be the width, right? This will also be the width because they are exactly the same. This one also, we have L here. So what will be the perimeter? P will be equal to 3W plus 2L, right? But P, which is 540, is given. So we have 540 here. This is equal to 3W plus 2L. Let us make L the subject. We have 2L equal to 540 minus 3W. We're going to divide both sides by 2. Finally, L is equal to 540 minus 3W divided by 2. This is a very important equation. So now what about the area? Let's find the area of this rectangle by multiplying length by the width. So the area is equal to length multiplied by the width. But the L is 540 minus 3W divided by 2, right? So this is equal to 540 minus 3W divided by 2. Then we're going to multiply by W. So let's factor out something here. From here, you can see that this can be divided by 3, likewise this one. 540 divided by 3 is 180. So we have 180 minus 3W divided by 3 is just minus W. We want to also factor out 2 here. Already we have 3W, then we divide by 2. This is our area. But remember that we are talking about greatest area. So what value of W will make the greatest area here? That's what you need to find. First of all, let us find the zeros by setting A to be equal to zero. So we have 180 minus W multiplied by three W divided by two equal to zero. We are going to set the two factors equal to zero. Either 180 minus W equal to zero or 3w divided by 2 equal to 0. From the first one, if you take w to the other side, it becomes positive. We have w equal to 180 or w equal to 0. But none of these values of w will make the greatest area. Why do I know? Let us sketch it. Suppose we have a parabola like this. It is an up and down parabola. This is 0. This is w, remember? This is where W is 0. This is where W is 180. This is our area. So at this point, that is where we're going to obtain the greatest, that is the maximum area it can cover, right? So what will be this value right here? To find that value, you can take what? That is just the line of symmetry. You add these two values together, you divide by 2, and it will give us the value of W at that point. So... The required W that we are looking for will be equal to 0 plus 180 divided by 2. And this is equal to 90. So this is the value we are looking for, 90. So we are going to use the value of W equal to 90. So what about L? We can conclude that W is 90. But what about L? L from here, you can see it is what? 540 minus 3W divide by 2. 
L is equal to 540 minus 3W divided by 2. All we have to do is to substitute W here. L is equal to 540 minus 3 multiplied by 90 divided by 2. This is equal to 540 minus 3 times 90 is 270 divided by 2. And 540 minus 270 is the same thing as 270. So we have 270 divided by 2. And 270 divided by 2 is equal to 135. Therefore, L is equal to 135 feet, right? While W is 90 feet. But what are we looking for? We are looking for the dimension of that rectangular pens. And therefore, the dimension lens by the width. And the L is 135, 135 by the width, which is what? 90. So this is just the dimension. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.